but it probably has had some repercussions out there. The country. Has a very bad in the, oh, I know. In the cables going out. Uh, what? It has a very bad thing in the cables going out. What happens? Uh, uh, give you an illustration. Fulbright talks to Lucey, the French ambassador, and we read a lot of this stuff that goes out, and he says that the uh, reactionaries, and that's you and the Reagans and the generals, have taken me over, and I'm a captive, and uh, Eisenhower even warned against uh, uh, these complexes taking over a president, but that uh, I am a warmonger, and I'm really uh, trying to get China destroyed, and that the French ought to use any influence they can on me, uh, that the, the country is kind of irresponsibly led, and that the fascists are taking over. Kind of the pitch that they made, uh, even 34, against Goldwater. Yeah. Now, they got to, they come along then with Case, uh, who is a brilliant young liberal moderate, and he says that uh, you cannot have any confidence in leadership. That's the communist line. That's what they put out in North Vietnam every day. They told the Canadians who were there last week that you, you, you've got a program made in the USA and you cannot have any confidence in the USA. That's what the communists always say to destroy the leadership. Then, uh, uh, they come along then with Morton, and they have him say about the same thing, a little different approach, that the president's been brainwashed by, he doesn't say reactionaries, he says generals and industrial uh, uh, complexes and so forth, and that we ought to stop the bombing. Now, uh, they are being used, all these men are, and it's hurting our country, and it's hurting it very, very bad. If we're going to ask these 500,000 men to stay out there, we can't have every senator being a general and every senator being a secretary of state. We either got to support them and back them up and try to carry out our program, which is not a violent one. It's not a program of retreat, and it's not a program of conquest. It is a program to deter aggression, which we're doing very well. But Westmoreland came in last night to me, he's very distressed. We've got a three-page, legal-sized, uh, single-line, single-spaced uh, teletype from him. And he says that uh, he has concentrated more firepower in bombing in the last week on the DMZ, and they've concentrated more on us than has ever been concentrated in any equivalent period in the history of warfare, yeah. much more than was ever poured on Berlin or Tokyo, and that uh, his only defense of the DMZ to stop this aggression up there with the North Vietnamese trying to come in is bombing uh, their, their gun positions, yeah. the DMZ, and it would just be suicide if we stopped the bombing as these idiots talking about. When you say stop the bombing, you say kill more American Marines. That's all it means. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, he is asking us to give him more bombers and to give him more to try to knock this group out that's that's wanted for two years to have a big invasion of the DMZ, and he has been able to deter them, and they haven't had a military victory, and they're not going to get one, yeah. except they're winning one here. Yeah. Uh, I I want to read you the cable came in this morning from uh, Bunker. Yeah. Uh, the U.S. press here concentrates on the DMZ. Is this another Den Ben view in the making? The two key split. Actually, there's evidence that they're working much better together than they have in some time. Certainly, this is my impression with talking with both of them Tuesday. The election irregularities. The most responsible opposition candidates, Huang, Ha Tuck, Ki, and Dan, have taken no part in these irresponsible charges. They are promoted principally by Zhu, whom everybody knows is a crook and controlled by the left wing, and Zhu, who is senile and is being used by the, these communist elements. How do you spell his name? S-U-U. Yeah. And the other one is DZU. Oh, yeah. He was the man of the peace candidate. Right. The newspaper closings, uh, and by Sue, is said, newspaper closing, these haven't caused a ripple here. Nobody seems to regret them. Believe the government has good cause to act to close them. They communist control. I regret to say that in a large segment of the American press, there's an obvious skepticism, a bias.
against our government and therefore a tendency to place the worst interpretation on the acts of the government of Vietnam. I've been giving much attention personally to the press, both in background meetings individually and having them in for dinner in small groups in order to try to focus on the important things that are taking place here and to reestablish. Uh, for example, there's practically universal disbelief on the figures on casualties. I have yet to find a single reporter who would believe the body count. We must counter this by releasing the captured documents which we have, which corroborate the figures that we give out, but the military has not let us release the documents up to date. Some of this is conditioned by what they believe, the press, to have been official optimism. Consequently, we are trying to be objective and realistic in demonstrating that we are making very steady, though not extremely spectacular progress, and that we are definitely moving ahead. Now, that's Munker. Westmoreland comes in and asks for extra authority for uh, more pounding instead of less uh, B-52s there on the line. Now, their, their current JAG was negotiating now. In the last uh, month, uh, we, we can't announce this because we closed the channel, but in the last several months, we have said a good many times that we would consider stopping bombing if they would talk. If they talk there, they have said no every time, so they will not negotiate. That's number one. Now, second, they ask us to stop bombing. Now, if we stop bombing without their talking and without any reciprocity on their part, yeah. it just means we kill more Americans. That's all. Yeah. Uh, but the people don't know that. Yeah. So they've got the uh, keys, and they've got Martin. And they've got uh, uh, the, Bobby Kennedy's got this fellow Lowenstein hired for the ADA, and he's running around. They got Dick Goodwin in that group. Yeah. And they told the Canadian this week, hand me this cable from the Canadian out of my pocket there. Uh, I want to read this introduction. It's in my, uh, just hand me those papers there right quick. The, this has to be confidential, but you have to know if you had a, Oh, what's going on. Uh, the Canadian member of the ICC, as you know, there are three members, the Canadian, the Indians, and British. He had just spent two weeks in Hanoi. Uh, this is a cable of last Sunday. He was debriefed in Laos. He explained that the North Vietnamese attitude toward negotiation as, quote, harder than he had observed during his last visit to Hanoi two months ago. He told us that he had, quote, not even been able to get a nibble, unquote. He volunteered that, in his opinion, the North Vietnamese are prepared to wait the results of the U.S. 68 elections before changing their present attitudes and position. Uh, he asked him to consider the Canadian proposal of four points, Paul Martin's four-point program, and asked if this plan, especially point one, held any interest for the DRV. He said the North Vietnamese called this plan made in USA and refused to comment on it. He asked if the recent elections had altered the situation. The North Vietnamese foreign minister dismissed the election as a fraud and a farce and claimed their position was no way changed with the elections. They were just USA fraud. Now that's their reaction this Sunday. Yeah. Now, we don't have a single military man or a single civilian man that thinks that these people are ready to talk now. We think they're relying on the Senate. Yeah. These speeches up there, and I think somebody's just got to tell these senators, if you want to have some influence, come down here and we'll expose you and debate with you right in the cabinet room. Yeah. But for God's sakes, don't tell Ho Chi Minh that if he holds out another month, we may stop hitting him, because that's what he's hoping he can do. Yeah. I don't know what's happened to Morton. I just—I I was shocked at him. I don't either. Well, I just want to get that background. Thank you, my friend. Uh, one other thing. Yeah. They'll pay attention to that planted story in the uh, New York Times about Krulak. They're touting Walt, you know. Yeah. Well, Krulak is McNamara's choice. I hope he's yours. Well, I haven't decided. I've given the... Uh, I, I, I like the... Uh, the uh, uh, Debity very much, and I, I've given a good deal of thought to 
Gulak, and I just don't, I haven't made any decision, and I haven't talked to the chiefs about it or, or to McNamara. I thought that we don't have to do it till December, I believe, and I thought I'd sit down and go over it with them. Yeah. I haven't seen the story in the Times. I don't know what it is. Yeah. One other thing. I gave Marvin uh, two dates about that. General yes, sir. Donovan. The answer, the answer is yes, sir. Uh, uh, the first date's 14th. That's out. Yeah. We have a conflict with some foreign aid visitor.